Hello, my name is Olivia Brown. I am currently a third year at UCLA. I study anthropology. And today I kind of just wanted to talk about my experience with online classes, Zoom fatigue, all that fun stuff. So the first thing that I noticed when it comes to online classes is the fact that I have a really hard time connecting with the content and the professors and the students. It's really easy to feel distanced, I think, when everything you're doing is online. It's harder to build relationships with your professors, it's hard to build relationships with the students, and I think it's even just hard to feel close with the material. I love my major, I love what I study, but as this quarter is coming to a close and finals are coming up, I'm having a really hard time finding the motivation in myself to study for those things and to just care about these things, which is something I never thought I'd ever say. Okay, one pro though that I have picked up on is the fact that I save commute time. The reason I put commute in quotations is because I lived on campus. The way that my campus works is you live in the dorms or in the apartments and these are about a 20 minute walk from your classes. So it's kind of nice. So I save about 40 minutes total per class that I could spend working, eating, sleeping, studying. So that's kind of an added bonus. Now on to difficulty. I want to say that in some ways online learning has been easier and in other ways online learning has been harder. Part of that I think is because when it comes to exams, professors know that students are gonna cheat. No matter where you go, what college, students are going to cheat if they have access to these resources. So professors make the exams open note. And in some ways that kind of stops the learning, like learning study skills, which makes the tests in my opinion easier, unless you have the professors who make it super hard because it's open book, it could go either way. But in my experience, the tests have been a lot easier and therefore somewhat easier to get better grades. However, again, it's harder to it's harder to succeed in these classes because you, I don't know, I don't feel this need to like pay attention because there's no like, if I'm dozing off in class, in a lecture hall, the professor could be like, I see you, and you'd be like, oh shoot. But online, your camera can be off, your microphone can be off, and it's just hard, again, to want to learn that content. Another thing too is I think it's a lot harder to communicate for the professors exactly what they want to say over Zoom. You can't point to something in my lab classes, you can't really do the lab. It's a lot of like simulation stuff. So again, it's harder to grasp purely because it's harder to explain. I don't want this to get too long. So overall, I do wanna say that I am a little bit discouraged by this system that's been set up. I think we've made a lot of progress because we've been in Zoom classes for so long. But with that said, I just, I don't know, I'm coming to the end of my classes and normally I feel super stressed and I have to study and cram everything in, but I don't even feel the pressure because I don't know, the consequences feel so far away. It's hard to explain, but it, I don't know. If you're a student and you've had these experiences too, please let me know. Because if it's just me, then I don't know, maybe I need to like get back on top of it. But I hope that people are doing okay during this pandemic and that maybe people are having a slightly better experience than I am. I absolutely love my school. I think UCLA is doing a great job given the circumstances. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stay safe. Wear a mask out there. Have a happy holidays and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace out. Bye.